On top of the mountain. We're at Cathedral Rock. Cathedral Rock. This is Bell Rock. We're walking over here. Courthouse Vista. You see in the background, there's a bunch of twisted trees and such. Come with me as my family and I finish out our trip to Sedona, Arizona. In this vlog, we visit a couple of famous Vortex spots, including Bell Rock, Courthouse Butte, Cathedral Rock, and Airport Mesa. We also spent our last couple days in Sedona using a hot tub and checking out some of the local stores. This trip has truly been an awesome experience. All right, let's do it. First stop, the Chapel of the Holy Cross, which is basically nestled within Cathedral Rock, the Vortex. So the chapel itself is atop the hill. You kind of drive a windy, windy hill up there. It's not too long. Some people can walk it. Um, and the chapel is actually made of the red rocks that surround it. This is a huge spiritual vortex spot. There are also different ways to get up the mountain. You can park below and they'll, some people can golf cart you up the mountain over to the actual chapel. There are also, I believe, at least two different levels of parking as you go, go up the hill. Cathedral Rock. The rest is an Ah, top of the mountain. We're at Cathedral Rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the view here, and then look at, whoa, and then here it is. <coughs> Let's go in. Sidonia, one of the most popular chapel here in the United States and it got an award. So we came here to pray, to thanks everything so, and say Merry Christmas also. Uh, thank you very much. Incredible and uh, unbelievable uh, area in this uh, 250 feet elevation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We are right next to the Cathedral Rock. There's the view. Say hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? We are great. Here's the view from Cathedral Rock. You see, there's the church. There's more of Sedona. 
Here's the rock. There's my parents. Okay. Look at this. Good a.m. Good a.m. It's already about nine o'clock plus in this area. Everywhere you look. And there are lots of people now coming in to see the beautiful view, panoramic view. Okay. Merry Christmas and a very very prosperous. Feliz Navidad y prospero año nuevo. Gracias amigos y parientes. Also, um, when you enter in the chapel, if you look to your left, there are some stairs that go downstairs and you'll find the gift shop. This one I think is a courthouse or something. That's not just dirt, it's alive. Don't crush the dust. Oh, gorgeous. This is Bell Rock. This is the courthouse. Wow, gorgeous. Look at the view from over here. Oh, the lighting. Oh, oh gorge. Oh, lovely. We are at this area. Courthouse Vista. And this is the bell. Look at these warped trees. They're in the middle of this vortex. If you look at these trees, they look like some, some form of energy has twisted them. It's really cool. My sister took us to one of the lookout points where you can see from farther away Courthouse and Bell Rock and a lot of the other mountains in Sedona. And I'm sure there are several different lookout points that will showcase the breathtaking red rocks and canyons. I'm not gonna lie, as someone who does identify as very spiritual, I did feel a certain vibration and I feel like I was a bit spiritually triggered as I entered each of these places. And they say, if you're into spirituality, that each of the vortex points will activate different parts of your, your body or your chakras. I also, funny enough, tried to eat lunch right after visiting a bunch of these vortexes and I suddenly became overcome with a hiccup attack <laughs> and some people think like there's a superstition that if you're in a high vibrational place it may it may transform or change your body's frequency and weird body stuff can happen in response in my uh, theory about geographical uh, phenomena Many, many years ago, a million, million years ago, before the dinosaurs come in. The dinosaurs. This rock formation was created by strong wind, the river, and the evolution or creation of the Earth's surface going up. It takes many, many years, and we are so lucky that in our generation, in our time, this become 
or this happened and now we are the witness of what happened a million years ago mm. and also after the flood probably the flood is gone so this is left mm. and there is a desert probably on this rock and the wind blows it and what is left this rock it was formed naturally like this do you and think the dinosaurs saw this as a desert or as a river maybe the mm. dinosaurs uh, probably some of them uh, were still alive during the time but because of the evolution they are all uh, uh, gone but this is still continuous mm. this kind of evolution of uh, this uh, geological uh, rock formation mm. okay. alright there are people hiking Bell Rock oh, there's houses here and then we're going towards Oak Creek now yeah, look at it from this. Look at this angle. Look at this. All these angles of the, of the rocks, you know. Then we went over to Garland's Navajo Rugs, which is a store that has a lot of cultural Navajo items, of course, including rugs. But, you know, there were hats, there were books. My sister, I think, got some jewelry. Um, very well representative of the Native Amer American culture that you see throughout Sedona. I want to call my name. <laughs> my name is Onesio. Dad, shh, shh, shh. Then we visited basically my favorite restaurant and eatery chocolate trees so if you watch the previous vlog you can see a lot more about what um, chocolate tree offers basically it's a gluten-free and vegan restaurant and it's highly spiritual there's live music there's a bunch of goodies i suggest you visit we are going up the airport mesa to look out oh the force to see the light then we went to Airport Mesa, which is a vortex point. And we were trying to look at it at sunset. Um, we couldn't quite see the lighting at sunset, but a lot of people were gathering to look around. And also this guy who was advertising everywhere was playing some awesome covers while we were looking at the view. He's on Instagram if you want. The yeah, mighty the over there. Tonight. Yes. We also hit up a couple more gluten-free and vegan spots. One of them being the Synergy Cafe, which does offer some CBD um, infused chocolates and drinks. You can also get them without CBD. It's kind of like it's nice and red and and sort of soulful in there. Um, they also have a back area, which they call the apothecary. It is a little bit small, but I would go for the ambiance. We went over to Natural Grocers, which is basically like Alassans, where it has a whole supplement section. I basically went in order to get purely Sedona water. Now you can get that at Whole Foods, but getting it here, they say Sedona water itself is healing. After that, we finally use the hot tub. And we are hot tubbing. Standardly, is it 101 degrees normal for a human to hot tub in? Apparently. <laughs> It took me a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it gets the 90. Plus the hot tub, we poured some purely Sedona water in it. Ever since that happened, I actually feel like it's a lot more tolerable. <sighs> now we shall relax. You see, it's really nice now, or at least I adjusted to it. At least I adjusted to it. Oh, 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 oh,
boobies, boobies out. Boobies out. We have not boobies been drinking. Out. I repeat, we have not boobies been drinking. Boobies out. <laughs> I just had some pure least don't know water. And I'm in a <laughs> vortex. La la la. La la la. We're in vortices, I've been to several vortices. And now we bathe in the hot tub. And then sadly, it was time to say goodbye to our Airbnb and head back home. This was an awesome trip. It was only a couple of days long, I think about five days, but it was jam-packed and a really awesome place to visit. I highly suggest if you're going to visit Sedona, you might want to go when it's around fall or winter time, just because the weather's a lot more manageable. It's quite cold, but it's a lot more manageable. Plus, it's cute during Christmas time. Okay. Well, until next time, bye-bye. If you're curious about the rest of the trip, check out my other two vlogs. The first one when we were traveling to Sedona, and the second one where we go to the Grand Canyon. It's doing a hot air balloon from our living room, or from our dining room. Did you see it? Okay, hasta la vista. Also, check out my original Christmas song, which I actually produced while I was in Sedona. Well, we are a tubby soup of myself.